It's the Weekend Cafe on Sunshine 106.8, the new name for Country Mix, and that's especially for Mary. Crystal Gale, is it one of your favourites, Mary? Yeah, believe it or not, Andrea, she's one of my favourite singers of all time, and um, she's one of the women I look up to very much. In fact, I called my band after her, so... This is why I thought I'd play it. If you haven't guessed yet, Crystal Swing are in the studio with me. I am so excited. I can't um, contain myself because I'm a massive fan. I work in TV3, as you know, as well as um, here in Sunshine. Time 106.8. Right. And we did daytime, myself and Connor Clear, and we used to send things into Ellen, and she showed one of our um, viewers dancing one time. And then we heard about Crystal Squ- um, Swing for Patrick's Day that you were going to be showed. So uh, maybe I'll start with Derek. Derek, you can tell me the story of how this all came about, about the whole Ellen and stateside connection. That's right. Well, Andrew, um, I suppose, like, you know, as you know, everything kind of kicked off for us in February. And uh, the first thing we ever realized about Ellen was we got a phone call from uh, one of our friends to say that um, Ellen had us up and uh, she was tweeting us and like you know we couldn't believe we like, Ellen DeGeneres like, is like as everybody knows like one of the biggest stars that's ever has hit the, the planet I suppose at the moment you know like Oprah's on the air at the moment but if Oprah goes after the air then Ellen is going to be one of the biggest Absolutely. so um, and then the and then um, well, then uh, she of course she put up a video then she put up the video of our he drinks tequila next um, as her video of the day and again we couldn't believe it and then our producers started to come in to ma'am and um, she started emailing us um, and we couldn't uh, you know like we at the very start we thought it wasn't even genuine we thought it wasn't true when we heard all about this at the very start and, um, and next thing anyway after the Late Late Show we, we it was confirmed to us that we were going to be going to the States over to Ireland and uh, once we went over there then on the day she played um, the video again of us she brought us on Dundee interviewed us we sang He Drinks Tequila sang the Huckle Buck and like the whole lot just happened for us we couldn't believe it you know it was extraordinary Mary because not only did you um, attract like half a million hits on YouTube mm. overnight and as I said everybody was tweeting about it but as a mother of mm-hmm. your two children and obviously the band Crystal Swing had been going for how long Mary before all this? Well um, I started out as a one woman band going back about nine years ago but I've been on stage all my life Andrea and um, you know it just seemed very natural progression that Derek and Dervla would you know become part of the band in time and that's really what happened they grew up listening to all my songs and you know developed a love for that kind of music and before we actually knew it without ever really planning it we were out there as a threesome as Crystal Swing it was amazing and you gave her a lovely novel present and I thought it was fantastic what you brought over um, Mary and you maybe I'll tell the listeners what you gave to um, Ellen yeah. DeGeneres on Paddy's Day over in the States yeah I presented her with a bottle of Jameson Irish whiskey, you know, which of course is crafted in our local town of Middleton. It is great advertising, women, guys. That was just genius. (laughs) (laughs) And you know, the amazing thing that Ellen was really, really happy with the present because, um, you know, uh, her producer told us that, you know, she gets uh, a lot of um, gifts from, you know, people, different people that come in onto the show and, um, but she leaves a lot of them behind, but she made sure to take home the bottle of whiskey that day. But I think, you know, she was just intrigued by, you know, the fact that her name was printed on the bottle and um, you know we were delighted as well if it, it you know if it promoted Jemison Irish whiskey for us as well locally you know because it works both ways but um, no Ellen was extremely happy with it and uh, delighted, yeah, yeah. delighted with it yeah and it created a bit of a laugh as well you know well it was great to watch it now dear I've never met you before didn't realise how beautifully tall you are not only are you so talented and tall like your mum you're just so you're six foot as well I'm six foot tall and um, you could model well you know, so I wouldn't mind something like that. Really? Maybe, yeah, you know, something, you know, on the side with my music. I'm always kind of saying it, you know. And um, when people meet me, they think I'm a lot smaller because when they see me on TV, you know, I, I do look smaller. And um, they're like, "Wow, you're so tall. Are you wearing heels?" And I'm not like I'm six foot, so um, you're fantastic. I suppose that's what makes you, gorgeous. you can't lose her oh, in the shop, you no. know. You know, what I mean, no, you, you just know. see the blonde hair, <laughs> yeah. just swanning around. I just see her swanning over the the aisles across the way when you're I'm looking for her. <laughs> well, do you know what I was going to ask you, dear? As a young girl, has the kind of fame thing hit you? I mean, you're very recognisable now as a threesome individually, not only just because, let's say, the Late Late Show and Ellen and all the different shows you've been on, but just with the YouTube and all that sort of stuff. How has that changed you, or has it changed you? Well. It's changed my life, but it hasn't changed me as a person. And, um, you know, obviously things have totally changed for us because, you know, I am actually in sixth year at the moment in school and it has, it has affected it, no doubt, you know, but all for the better as well. And, um, 
you know, we're really, really busy and we're out all, every night of the week, you could say. We're in all different parts of the country, but it will never change me, you know, as Dervla. And I think that people see that as well, that we, we're just... We're just us, like we're just a family and we're just riding the wave, you know, like there's been so many amazing things happen to us and we've just been fortunate enough, you know, to have it happen to the three of us. Well, so, you mentioned um, your age six year, right? Yeah. And I know that Derek brought Lucy Kennedy to his devs. Have you yeah. any ideas who you might want to bring to your Well, devs? I've only been saying it recently <laughs> that, you know, now Derek did bring Lucy Kennedy, so I've got to try and beat him now. Who would you like to bring to your devs? And uh, just to explain to the listeners, um, Lucy Kennedy does a show called Living With Lucy. And it's on RT. It's a very popular show, and I'm sure you've seen it. But Derek brought Lucy Kennedy yeah. to his devs, if you don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say it was a great night, wasn't it? It was unreal. I must say, like, they done the, like, we have the programme as well done Living with Lucy, and that's coming out in November. But, like, um, I, that, that was the, one of the most busiest weeks of my life. I Every single, like, uh, I seemed to own the papers for that whole week. Everything was about <laughs> living with Lucy and my leaving cert, and what would I get? And after doing it, and it was just, oh, and then, of course, you went to the grads, like, and that was just, it was like one of these like it's, I'm never going to forget it not no. my friends were there you know and everyone like it was just it was brilliant so what's going to happen to Deerfla who can Deerfla bring to her dad? Yeah. I don't know I've been trying to rack my brains recently so I was saying maybe uh, Jedward I could have one on either arm <laughs> you know, that, I actually met Jedward they're great guys they're they seem yeah. to be great so we nice. haven't met them yet and, are you uh, doing a duet with them I read a rumour that Crystal Swing and Jedward were to do a charity duet for Christmas yeah we read that as well we, but yeah, we read that you know earlier on in April um, there was um, you know a a suggestion put to us that we would travel with Jedward for maybe part of April on their tour but unfortunately we had a lot of commitments made at the time so we weren't actually able to do that now we haven't met Jedward to date but um, you know yeah it's going to happen they're all the right two there. Yeah. that I just want to meet <laughs> like we, we seem to have met everyone we've even obviously met Ellen DeGeneres and yeah. we still haven't met Jedward yeah, so we, uh, there, this I, could be my big chance now I'd say the only <laughs> Irish celebrities we haven't met are Jedward yeah. we've met everybody else well like. extraordinarily they did I I don't think they did their leaving cert in the end because I think they um, continued on with their success. So yeah. perhaps they haven't had an opportunity to go to a Debs. And um, being that you're absolutely gorgeous, Derek. Hint, I'm hint, sure. if, anyone, if they're listening in now. Yeah. <laughs> you might be listening. I'll send a nice email to Louis and uh, if I meet them again, I'll mention it. But I think it would just be fantastic. Yeah. It would be so much fun. Well, um, I, I think much. with the two big blonde hairs they have yeah. and Derek being blonde <laughs> and, you know, one in each arm. But, um, but you have to put your hair up really high because they're both very tall as well. Yeah, yeah well... Um, I don't know. You can wear an up style there. Yeah. I can wear an up style, yeah. And yeah. They can wear an up style. <laughs> but they're number one on the list anyway. So. <laughs> and is there anybody else that you'd like to do a duet? I know, Derek, you're a big mm-hmm. fan of um, a lot of the kind of country music and the That's show right. band era. Um, well, I, I've had a, a huge, big kind of, I suppose, I couldn't believe when I heard it. I got a, a, a text off one of, a, one of a, a man that does the producing for uh, some of our um, recordings. And uh, he texted me, Jonathan texted me, and he said that... Um, that um, he was at the. Did I hear about um, what Michael Bublé said in the Aviva um, on the Friday night when he was there? And that was like the Saturday after. And I take my said, I said, this is the first I've heard of it. And I don't know what. And uh, he said uh, that Michael Bublé um, said that he always wished he could dance like the young fella from Crystal Swing. And next thing wow. took off across the stage singing the Huckle Book. Are you serious? And, like, I mean, Michael Bublé. I, like, out of all the singers that are out there at the moment, there is nobody else singing them songs like Perry Comer yeah. and Frank Sinatra songs and like I love all that type of music as well because that's where all the show band music kind of um, originated from fun. really yeah. you know that's that's where it all started and I love that I love all those big big band songs they're just there's just something about them you cannot beat a big band sound you know you can have all the uh, like to me all the rap in the world and everything but at the end of the day that's all computer you can't beat the real deal the big band you know the big brass sound and uh, when Michael Bublé said that you know so if I could do it or sing a song with Michael Bublé it would be just like, and I can't believe he knows who I am. That's he's the your, biggest thing he, ever. And he's, his he's idol. my idol. Like mm-hmm. he is, is he just. Really? Oh yeah, without a doubt. I always loved him. Like he's just, he's fantastic. And to think that he said that about me, it's just. Well, we I have really to get on to them. We have to get on to them. We're going to take a little break, but um, Crystal no Swing are staying with me. But we'll be back after this.